morning. Uh, how do you like this? Did he win big or did he win big? Very big. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. 18,000 votes. They're, they're, they're calling it an outstanding showing. Good morning. Mm. I heard on the radio upstairs. Well, how does it feel to be the father of Riverside's favorite son? Feels damn good. He owes a lot to you, Da. Oh, no. What's the matter? You put it up again. Huh? Da, what's going on? Oh, well... I just thought it'd be a good idea to get back in shape, is all. It wasn't here at dinner time last night. You must have put it up when you got back from Frank's office. Ah, what happened? Why does something have to happen? All right. Vanelli came by last night after you went off with Tom for some dinner, and we had a few words. I think his exact comment was that I was old and out of shape. Old smooth talker strikes again. Nothing wrong with me that dropping 10 pounds, a little daily workout won't cure. <laughs> you almost missed the bag and it was standing still. I hope you're not going to try to hit a moving target. Oh. Did Frank call in from the hospital last night? What's going on with Mrs. Woodard? I don't know. I mean, I never spoke to him again. It must be something pretty important to keep him out in the middle of an election night. Mrs. Woodard is important, and so is her husband. Good morning. By any chance, could you tell me where a man might get a cup of coffee around? Good morning, right Tom. Good morning. I suppose you're celebrating the great victory? Uh, oh, I see. They gave him a lot of space. Well, anybody who makes an outstanding showing deserves a lot of space. Well, I'd say you do. I don't believe I've seen this before. Well, I, uh, I keep in the basement. Had it for years. Looks like a nice one. Yeah. Do you mind? Oh, that'd be my guest. Now, I may be a bit rusty. Ah, go ahead. Give it a Let's see. Let's see how we do here. <clears throat> yeah. All right. We'll have to learn from 12 ex-girlfriends to finally get the one. Lauren Graham and Harlan Williams in Lucky 13. This Sunday at 10, the Sunday night movie on SoapNet. Truth. Willpower. Rage. Strength. I love you. It's true. You're not welcome, so leave. Everybody's got their something, and I've got one life to live. On The Young and the Restless. Chloe, our lives. When a romance is tested. I'm pregnant, and you're the father. And a business is threatened. There are certain things I will not do. Truth is the first casualty. I made changes to the Sabrina Newman article. Watch The Young and the Restless weeknights at 7 on SoapNet. Over a million women can't be wrong. Want to know their secret for softer, silkier, younger-looking skin? It's Hydroderm. I'm Forbes Riley. You know, the morning I saw my very first wrinkle, I was stunned. I mean, I always feel so young and energetic, but there it was, the mirror never lies. And I must have tried at least a dozen anti-aging products. But Hydroderm, that was the first one that made a real visible difference to my skin, which is why I've been using it for more than five years. 
Collagen loss is the main reason skin ages, and Hydroderm can do what no other skincare product can do. Hydroderm's clinically proven patented collagen infusion delivery system delivers whole collagen molecules directly into your skin, plumping up fine lines and wrinkles without painful, costly injections. Nine out of ten people in the study saw fewer wrinkles, more even skin tone, plus increased firmness and hydration in just three weeks. No wonder Hydroderm has been hailed as the biggest cosmeceutical advance in 25 years. Thanks to Hydroderm, you can stop looking your age and start looking the age you feel in just three weeks or less. Call now or go to lovehydroderm.com to take advantage of a limited time offer to try Hydroderm free for 30 days. Pay just $6.95 shipping and processing. You'll receive Hydroderm's age-defying wrinkle serum with whole collagen molecules to restore your skin's youthful vitality. Plus, you'll get our age defying Fine renewal moisturizer with deep moisturizing hyaluronic acid and peptides to help relax the surface tension of your skin that contributes to lines and wrinkles. And there's more. You'll get our silky triple effects eye serum to reduce the look of dark circles and puffiness while softening crow's feet and fine lines. Hydroderm has never before been on TV and this offer, a $210 value, is not in stores. Call 1-800-270-5621 right now and order Hydroderm to try free for 30 days. Call now. Over a million women can't be wrong. Wish Mr. Finelli could get a load of that. Uh-oh. Now, that wasn't all bad. Oh. Bad? <laughs> that was have... terrific. You must have spent a lot of time in the gym. Well, from the age of 14 to 18, I hardly left the place. And, uh, and had some fights? Oh, yes, plenty. Coffee. Thank you. Did you really like fighting? Well, for a while, I was insane about it. Now, when you grow up in a large family, you don't get too much individual attention. And it was the first time I really stood out on my own. And I had a big head, and I loved every minute of it. What was all that? What made you stop? Oh. Were you, were you only an amateur, or did you, did you fight professionally? Professional as soon as they'd let me turn. I mean, the gym wasn't free, you know. I, I needed the arrogant. That's Gaelic for money. Yeah. Well, why did you stop? No special reason. I uh, just drifted away from it. Well, it's a miserable way to make a living. Did you have a nickname, like uh, the Bantry Bomber or Killer Desmond? No. No, I, I didn't have a nickname. Could I have a sweet roll, do you think? You John? got it, you got it. Thanks. Well, will you look who's here? The people's choice. Uh, Hi, how are you? How are you? Uh, Mary Hill, Bob. Oh, Good morning. Hi. Congratulations again, Frank. Thank You're you. You're all over the papers. Oh, I'm just too tired to read them. Oh, I'll have one of them. On second thought, I won't. <laughs> I won't. What happened last Please. night? Did you get to bed at all? Oh, but I had a shower this morning, so I'm OK. Actually, winning elections is very therapeutic. You end up not needing any sleep. So I'm off in 15 minutes to dazzle and charm the district mm. leaders. Oh, well, and and then so. can you get some rest? I hope so. Look, I'm very glad you're here this morning. You may have your uh, hands full today. Oh, how's that? Would you believe that William Price Woodard's helicopter went down Riverside Park last night? Is that the publisher? And would-be senator from New York. Is he badly hurt? Nobody knows. His wife uh, doesn't think it's serious, but of course she doesn't want to. Police. Mr. Woodard's supposed to have been the power behind the throne in Albany for years. Only now he's come out of the back room and he's running on his own. Yeah, obviously it's a big story. She called here last night to ask me to minimize the press coverage. I've already shooed a couple of reporters away. Oh, I'd, look, yeah, I'd appreciate if you could do anything you can to help them. The lady's walking around with four broken ribs and God knows what uh, shape the gentleman's in. She also has a few... Very compelling reasons why she doesn't want to let the press in on it yet. Sure, sure, I'll get on it right away. Thank you. Are uh, you going over to the hospital? In a minute. Maybe I'll walk along with you, huh? Mary. <laughs> Just background, Frank. I promise to keep the press away. I can't have my own sister the first one over there. Hi there, I'm Mary Ryan. Uh... Oh, you're asking me to sacrifice my integrity as a news person. Right, you got it. Uh, the Times ran a thought piece on them the other day. As a matter of fact, I believe I still have it in my part. Oh, could we just pick it up on the way? Sure. Oh. Any objection to that, Miss Ryan? Do I tell you what to do? <laughs> as if anyone could. Uh, I am a frail vessel in a world of dominating men. Oh, uh -huh. listen to her talk. Listen. The point is, Mary, 
There are two people in trouble over there. I just don't want to make it any worse for him than it is. You must think he's hurt pretty bad. Well, nobody said anything. I mean, she's absolutely positive. Running the joint, broken ribs and all. But from the looks of, on the faces of the hospital people, it's, well, it's just hard to tell. It's real trouble. Tell me what you see. Mr. William Price Woodard has a basilar skull fracture. Without complications, it should heal, but the passage from the spinal column to the nose is open, which means there's, there's a real danger of infection. Yeah, that's the way I read it. Well, at least there's no displacement. It'll heal exactly the way it is. If infection doesn't set in. Well, I'd say it's tricky no matter what we do. We try to keep them quiet with the minimum of visitors. Healing process will be slow and... Uh, Danger of infection is always there. No, we could reduce the time factor if I close that opening to the spinal column surgically, but uh, hmm. that would really be running the risk of infection. All right. Uh, surgery is dangerous under the best of circumstances. We also have a heart problem here. Uh, my choice is for natural he healing, even if the uh, danger of infection is protracted. Well, that's the safest route, statistically. Yeah. The problem is we have a medical problem and we have a human problem. Hmm. His wife is here with him. Walking around with four cracked ribs, and she seems determined to carry on business as usual from the hospital. I'll tell you, he's not going to be taking care of any business. He's not going to be campaigning. He's not going to be doing much of anything, not for quite a while. Yeah, but we are we are dealing with a very strong-minded lady. Uh, she uh, she's behaving as if her husband has a sprained wrist. She came in here with a, a series of demands. She wants minimum information to the press, uh, room next to her husband's, which I arranged. R-H-I-P, huh? What? Rank has its privileges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also supposed to put in an extra phone. I guess that means one phone for his publishing business and the other one for his campaign. Well, there's one thing is for certain his wife doesn't understand that not until this thing heals, Mr. William Price Woodard is going to be lucky if he even knows his name half the time. Well, unfortunately, Miss Woodard isn't much good at listening. She's, she's, she's much more used to being listened to. Did you know she had Frank Ryan over here last night making arrangements for her? Oh, yeah. So she's uh, utilizing the local political machine, huh? You got it. No, I'm afraid that when it comes to Mrs. William Price Woodard, handle with care is the rule. Bill. Bill, it's Ray. Can you hear me? What? Uh. Darling, it's Ray. Hello, Ray. Where? You're all right. Can you hear? You're all right. Light coming at us. You're in a hospital, darling. The helicopter crashed and you hurt your head. But it wasn't serious and you're going to get well. Mrs. Woodard, I think that's enough for now. I'm sorry, I do have to talk to my husband for a few moments. I won't take long. Now, darling, this is important. Can you understand what I'm saying? White lights. Red. Noise. Bill. Bill, don't go back to sleep. Bill, please. Who's that? It's me, darling, Ray. I'm right here with you. Hello, Ray. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Not even a scratch. I'm just fine. And you're going to be, too. I'm so glad you're awake. Head hurts. Yeah, I know, I know, but it'll stop. Is he? Yeah. Darling, I have to talk to you about the merger. Sooner, it's... please. Your husband's in no condition. Well, shoot. He's very sick. Will you please if go you away? If you don't stop, I'm going to have to call the doctor. I don't care who you call. Darling. Darling, listen to me. Listening. It's all under control. Everything is going on just as if you were well. 
But we do have to sign the papers this morning. Then everything will be fine and we won't have to worry. Do you understand? Medicine? Stop the, the pain. No, darling, please, my please. Head. Pay attention. This is so important. Mrs. Woodard? Darling, please. Please just listen to me for a minute. Then I'll let you sleep. Decisions about life and love. How bad is it? On the next night shift. I'm not going to be hooked up to that thing. I don't want it. That's the end of it. Will Robin go against her father's wishes to save his life? If I say do it, he might never forgive me. An all-new General Hospital night shift. Tuesday night at 11, only on SoapNet. This week... He really is your son? You knew this whole time and you didn't tell me. Do you hate me? Now, their future... We're gonna be the family we were meant to be. ...will change forever. So what do we do now? She needs to know the truth. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Do you want to own a brand new HP, Dell, or other name brand computer and improve your credit at the same time? If so, Tronix Country says you're approved, guaranteed. I wanted a new computer, but I couldn't get financed. Then I called Tronix Country. They approved me, delivered my new computer, and are reporting on my credit. If you have an active checking account and can afford low, flexible payments, you're already approved, guaranteed, for this special offer. There's no credit check, so you won't be turned down. Tronix Country approved me quickly. I got instant approval, and it was easy. Their flexible payment plans made it easy on my budget, and my kids are getting ahead in school. I started my own business, and now I'm my own boss. Call now, and with your paid order, we'll add a free color printer, free MP3 music player, and free LCD TV. You heard right. Free printer, free MP3 player, and free LCD TV. Call now and tell us where you want your brand new computer and free gift shipped today. I'm glad I called. Here at the phone company, you've been our customer for a long time. Now Vonage wants to change all that. Well, over two million people have already joined Vonage. Oh, really? Don't they miss having phone service? Actually, with Vonage, you get the number one rated digital phone service and unlimited local and long distance calls, all for just $9.95 per month for the first three months. What do you charge? <laughs> it's simple, really. It starts with different basic rates, long distance fees, and of course... Vonage really has over 25 features, and they're included for no extra charge. For me, Vonage is everything I want in a phone service. It's dependable. It's perfect. No nickels and dimes uh, like the phone company. Get Vonage for only $9.95 per month for the first three months. Enjoy clear digital phone sound quality using your high-speed internet connection. Okay, but making a change is hard, and for over 100 years, the only thing we've changed is... Your prices? <laughs> Whoa! Call 1-800-570-1614 or go online to startvonage.com. Moving day is here, the most dreaded of days. Packing, unpacking, your mind in a haze. DirecTV knows how stressful moving can be, so we make keeping your entertainment both easy and free. For uninterrupted service of the shows you like best, just leave the dish behind and we'll handle the rest. Simply dial 877-616-MOVE and we'll throw in three months of stars and showtime for free. Lights. Riverside Drive. It's... Close your eyes, darling. Go on now. Close them. But don't go to sleep. Listen to me. Now, Royal is coming down from Albany, and he has the papers. The merger is going to go through exactly the way you planned it. As for the campaign, I've told the press that you have a bump on your forehead and a sprained wrist. And I've got everything else under control. There's a city councilman in this district who's been very, very helpful. Have you understood what I've said? Bill. Why all the questions? Get it on fire. Don't leave me alone. Patient's getting upset. Lower his head, please. Mrs. Woodward, we uh, need to get in there to see your husband.
He doesn't seem to be able to concentrate very well. Well, that's to be expected. This is Dr. Roger Coleridge, Miss Woodward. How do you do? How do you do? He's in a lot of pain. Can't you give him something? Mrs. Woodard, uh, may we step outside? No, I think I'd rather stay here in my husband's room. The rhinorrhea is continuing. Right, thanks. Dr. Bolak, will you please explain the meaning of all these ever so pregnant looks that you doctors are exchanging? Of course, but I prefer not to talk in here. Whatever you say. There's a chair. I can stand, thank you. Now, gentlemen, let us understand each other. No one is going to keep me away from my husband. Mrs. Woodard, I know that you want only the best for your husband. Now, that's what we're concerned about, too. Doctor, I'm tired and a little unsettled. However, I do recognize an evasion when I hear one. Dr. Moultrie, you are the uh, physician in charge, I believe. Am I right? That's correct. All right, then you and I must have an understanding. I am going to be with my husband at all times, because that is what he would wish. It's not my prerogative to speak on that, but I will do what's best for the patient. No. I want to be perfectly clear. If you have any intention of trying to keep me out of that room, you may consider yourself his ex-physician in charge. Uh, Mrs. Woodard, we, uh, we realize that you are terribly upset, and the crash was a terrifying experience, and that you're deeply worried about your husband. Yes? But before you become so concerned with visiting Mr. Woodard, perhaps it would be better if you understood more about his condition. All right. Look, I don't want to be unreasonable, but I will. I insist on being understood. Now, it's obvious he's been very seriously hurt. I know it's a little thing, but he even seems to have caught a cold. His nose is running. That's not a head cold, Mrs. Wooded. That's spinal fluid running from his nose. Oh, my God. Mrs. Wooded, please have a seat. I think it's time you knew exactly what is wrong. for him to catch on. And he tricks you into having a child. She planned the whole thing. This is the week to watch. A web of lies finally unravels. If there are more secrets, I need to know about them right now. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. SoapNet.com is the place for night shift webisodes. Want to know what an intern's life is like outside of the hospital? I'm the best sex that she's never had. Okay, let's go. Follow Rumi's Claire and Kyle home when the night shift ends. <gasps> you come? See our exclusive webisodes only, only at SoapNet.com. This week. Really? First, a hit and run. This pressure is still dropping. He's crashing. We will not let anything happen to him. And the bombshell confession to her mother. I killed him. I keep getting out of my head. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Don't know Jack about your credit? Stop clowning around. Log on to TrueCredit.com now and get your three bureau credit report and free credit score. True Credit. Manage your credit. Manage your life. To prove you can dust less often with Pledge, we've placed Mary in this glass box and asked her to clean one side of this table with Pledge and the other with a dry dust rag. And now, we wait a week. A... a week? One week later, and the Pledge side with its unique anti-dust formula looks less dusty. It does. Thanks, Mary. Can I come out now? Looks so good you can dust less often. That's the beauty of Pledge. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Wait! Did you see that? <laughs> the side dusted with Pledge has no waxy buildup. Of course you saw that. No waxy buildup. That's the beauty of Pledge. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Your 
are very serious. I was thinking about you turning professional to pay the gym fees. Does that mean you were very poor? Well, poor is relative, you know. Am I prying? I'm sorry. No, what I meant was we knew we didn't have any money, but uh, none of our friends had money either, so we didn't feel we were set apart by it. Well, it's not so bad then. Not really. We just had to be careful. Well, we were always that way, though we never went without. Were you? Now, I can't imagine the Rhines being without a business. Oh, Di hasn't always owned the bar. He used to be the bartender. Mother waited tables. It was called Donald's, and when we were little, we all helped out, cleaning the windows, polishing the brass. Frank always got to do the bar rail. And how did Donald's become right? Oh, Mr. Donald died, and there wasn't anyone to take it over. Di had some friends who helped him get a bank loan so he could buy it from Mrs. Donald. And he really changed it and made it so much nicer, and it's done very well. That's a lovely story. We're all very proud of him. He managed to raise some pretty grandchildren along the way. Tom, it is 8.30 in the morning. And what has that got to do with anything? That means that you should find me the clipping on W. Price Woodard, if you can, and we should both get to work. I was just overcome with a moment of sentimental admiration for your father and his middle daughter. Oh. You are overcome with sentimental admiration every time you get me in this apartment. Well, I'm a very emotional person. Very persistent person. Yes. You know, Mary, there are times I wish you would tell me something about yourself or your family that would shock me in some way or put me off, because the more I see you, the more I like, admire, and respect you. I should be ca careful where I tell you family stories, the way they set you off. All right, all right, all right. I'll get you your clip. Thank you. Ah, the paper should be around here somewhere. I don't know just where. I put it aside for safekeeping, which means I probably won't be able to find it for days. I don't believe I can stay that long. More's the pity. <laughs> well, don't just stand there and watch. Make yourself at home. You have more interesting things to look at. Oh, good morning, Gertrude. I was saving it for something. I forget just what. All these books on boxing. Well, I like to keep up with what's going on. Mary, if you'll excuse me a moment, it's probably in the bedroom. the most wonderful snapshot of you. What? You look beautiful. Snapshot. When you were fighting, I think. And there's a clipping. Mary. Mary, I'd like to have those. Oh, come on. At least you can let me look at it. Mary, they don't mean anything anymore. Oh, Tom, stop it. I'm not going to hurt you. Mary, I'm asking you to give them to me and not to look at them now. It's extremely personal. It's Please. just a picture of you in boxing trunks and an old newspaper clipping. I'm sorry. I read the headline. Please. It's too late. I've already seen it. It says Tom O'Brien wins in three. That's you, isn't it? You're not Tom Desmond. You're Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Antonio Sabato Jr. is back as Jagger Cates, and the only place to see him is on the new season of Night Shift. General Hospital Night Shift, Tuesdays at 11 p.m. on SoapNet.
no, no. Dr. Fowler is. She called to say she's hung up with a patient. She'll be another 20 minutes or so. Why don't you get yourself some coffee? Where have you been? What makes you think that I've, uh, I've been somewhere? I tried to call you to tell you not to hurry. Where? Did Home. you try to call me? You talked to Dia again. Briefly. She seems to think that I ought to know where you are. Yeah. What else did she say? Not much. It sounded as if she were crying. I'm sure she was. <laughs> it was not a good morning. I ended up uh, coming over here to the library to finish this reading. Pat, shouldn't Delia have help? Psychiatric help, you mean? She's crazy. I don't... I don't mean that unkindly. I, I used to think she was just interestingly neurotic or very selfish, a uh, master manipulator. But I've come to believe that it's a whole lot more than that. Especially after that scene in neurology the other day. I don't know what to think anymore. One minute she's rational and funny and in charge. Next thing I know, she's in tears and helpless and overwhelmed by all her fears and her insecurities. It's nothing new, really, but the swings are, are more dramatic, less predictable than they used to be. I'm not sure how she would react to the idea of a psychiatrist at this point. You won't know until you try, will you? I keep thinking that I can handle it. I make an effort to give her some extra attention. The result is immediate. It's like watering a plant. And then I think, great, she's better. And I turn my attention elsewhere, and she's off. This morning, she was jealous of you again. Why? I think it all focused on you because I got up early to do this reading on the biofeedback. And the immediately interpreted that as you and I being together and her being left out. Nothing to do with medicine or angel or legitimate professional interest. It was her husband off with another woman. What did you say to that? That you were my friend and my colleague. And that's true. He understands that uh, she hadn't been carrying my child. You and I would be married by now. Would we, Pat? I wonder. I'm not sure how to interpret that. Well, maybe I should explain something. On the Sunday Night Movie. You know this perfect girl your whole life, but you never go for. To get the girl of his dreams, Zach will have to face 12 of his worst nightmares. He's going back to all the women in his life to find out why he can't hold a relationship. You mean so much to me, Zach. Lauren Graham and Harlan Williams in Lucky 13. This Sunday at 10. The Sunday Night Movie on SoapNet. Decisions about life and love. How bad is it? On the next night shift. I'm not going to be hooked up to that thing. I don't want it. It's the end of it. Will Robin go against her father's wishes to save his life? If I say do it, he might never forgive me. An only General Hospital night shift. Tuesday night at 11, only on SoapNet. Spoiled produce? Not again. Stop throwing away your money. Introducing Debbie Meyers Green Bags, the remarkable new way to save your produce and your money. Hi, I'm Debbie Meyer, and I no longer lose hundreds of dollars in wasted rotted fruits and vegetables. Now you can share my secret with Debbie Meyer's Everfresh Green Bags. Just look at the difference between 18 days in traditional storage and 18 days in my green bag storage. Do you want this or this? 
These strawberries were bought at the same time. Just look at the difference. Look at iceberg lettuce after just eight days. Watch as these bananas age. Look at the difference. The bunch in my green bag is still fresh after nine days. Air is not the enemy. It's the ethylene gas that's naturally given off by produce, which causes them to spoil. Old containers and bags trap the gas inside, actually speeding up rotting. But green bags are made with a natural mineral that absorbs and removes the harmful ethylene gas. So now your produce stays fresh up to 30 days. Over 40 million green bags have already been sold. And now you can get 10 of Debbie Meyers green bags for just $9.95. Whether they're on your countertop or in your fridge, my green bags are the ultimate produce saver. And that saves you money. Look at this broccoli after 21 days. Peppers after 16 days. Here are baby carrots after 26 days. You'll get five medium and five large bags for just $9.95. They're reusable up to 10 times each, and they're guaranteed to pay for themselves in just one trip to the grocery store. But wait, call now and we'll double the offer. That's right, now you'll get 10 medium and 10 large bags. That's 20 bags for only $9.95. Here's how to order. Have your credit card ready and call 1-800-393-6519 now for Debbie Meyer's amazing green bags. No more spoiled fruits and vegetables. They'll keep your produce fresh up to 30 days. You'll get 10 medium and 10 large bags. That's over 200 uses for just $9.95. Call now. I have been asking for a full report on my husband's condition since 3 a.m. For hours, I was told nothing. Finally, because I literally started screaming, a doctor told me that Bill has a skull fracture and a broken wrist, but I wasn't allowed to see him, and I still would not know that he is in neurology if I hadn't started screaming again. Now, Mrs. Woodard, we understand. Oh, don't you start taking that soothing tone of voice with me. I'm sorry. Now, perhaps you do understand the runaround I've been given, and perhaps you don't intend to prolong it. When you stand there and you calmly announce to me after all my questions that my husband has spinal fluid running out of his nose. I have got to assume that there are many things that I have not been told. This is what it is. So, before any of you start giving me any more explanations on what's wrong with Bill, I want to warn you. I want you to be honest with me. I want you to tell me exactly what is going on. Do not spare me anything. And above all, don't take me for a fool. You have not been lied to. Mr. Woodard has a basilar skull fracture, which has caused the leakage of spinal fluid. Why? Because the fracture opened a passage between the spinal column and the nose. I've never heard of anything like that. And Mrs. Woodard, if you'd like to see the x-rays, Perhaps the pictures would explain better than we can. Thank you. I think I would like to do that. Is uh, there any damage that could be caused by this leakage? Well, in and of itself, the uh, loss of spinal fluid is not a problem. What we're concerned about is infection getting into that open passageway. Infection is the problem? Yes, until the fracture is healed and the passageway is sealed up again. What else? Dr. Kowich has given you a very accurate picture. We've held nothing back, Mrs. Woodard. Thank you. All right. Now, how does a fracture mend? What's the fastest possible way? Well, the best course would be to let it mend naturally, wouldn't you say? I would. Bed rest, nursing, monitoring, and most of all time. Now, given all that, I would say your husband should be just like brand new. All right. How long will this take? Weeks? No, two months, three, maybe more. Month? Oh, that's impossible. Nevertheless, it's the course we recommend. Bill won't hear of it. Well, at this point, it's, it's really hardly his decision. I beg to differ with you. It certainly is. Mrs. Woodard, uh, your husband, at least for the next few weeks, is going to be disoriented and confused. He won't really be able to make any decision confidently. He may even have some temporary amnesia. Now, surely you can't expect him to, to think for himself. I don't believe you. And of course. I just talked to him. He knew who I was. Look, he's tired. He has a headache. He's, he's a little irritable. That's only natural. But the man is not a mental incompetent. You see, he was irritable because you asked him to listen to you and concentrate, which he cannot do. He started to. 
And he will. He has to. I, I have to have his signature on some papers. Uh, Mrs. Woodard, I doubt that he can even hold up a pen. In the Senate race. The whole race rides on the next few months. He's got to keep pushing. He can, Mrs. Woodard, once the fracture is healed. That is going to take too long. Look, there has to be something else. A, a, a drug you can give him, anything to, to, to make him alert, even just for a few minutes. I'm afraid not. You said mending slowly was the best possible course. I ask you for the fastest. Is there another alternative? There is surgery, yes. I knew it. There is another way. Surgery would be very dangerous. I wouldn't even consider it if I were you. Fortunately, you're not me. Dr. Coleridge, I want you to tell me all about the surgery. I want to know all the details, exactly what will happen. Then I will lay it out for Bill, and he will choose his own treatment. Mrs. Woodard, your husband won't choose. Mrs. Woodard, he can't. Then I will choose for him. Brian. That's your real name. Give me that. All your books with the name Tom O'Brien written in them. He wasn't your friend, and he isn't dead. He is. I was Tom O'Brien, but not anymore. My name's Desmond now. Why? I can't explain. Here's the article on William Woodard. You can keep it if you like. You'll be late for work. Mary, I can't tell you about it. That frightens me. You're not afraid of me. Are you in trouble? I swear to God, I've done nothing you wouldn't understand or approve. If you knew the whole story... Well, tell me, please. I can't tell you about it. What do you mean? I wouldn't involve you. Mary, you said that you like me and you trust me. I do, I'm sure about that. Well, then you must believe me. You must forget what you saw on that clipping. I didn't even read it. All I saw was a picture of you as a boxer in the headline, Tom O'Brien. Desmond. Why? I wouldn't repeat it to another soul. You have my word. Oh, sweet Mary. It isn't something I can share with you. Any other secret. Not this. Your hands are shaking. You must promise me not to mention that name. Not to your parents, to your brothers, your sisters. Not even to me. What could possibly happen if I did? No more questions. Just give me your promise. I don't like pretense, Tom. I am curious about you. So is my family. You've made some slips telling about your childhood and bantry, and my mother's picked up on them. My father notices how much double talk you throw into those stories about your people in Ireland. They're full of questions about you, and so am I. How can I be open with you if I don't say what's on my mind? Maybe you can't. I'd hate to give that up, that freedom between us. Mary, this is more important. You must promise me to forget what you should never have seen. Now, if you will, that's the end of it. If you won't, I leave Riverside this morning. Leave? Disappear. Permanently. Is that serious? It is. I suppose it's occurred to you that my family might be able to help. Frank. Look, you're not from Bantry. Your name is not Tom Desmond. You were in trouble in Ireland. That's why you had to leave and you're scared to death. 
I know that much. Why not trust me with the rest? Not because I'm curious, but because you'd feel better and I might be able to do something. Mary, you're asking me to endanger my life. Possibly yours. I won't do it. Now, all I want to know is whether or not I'm to start packing. Your name is Tom Desmond. That's all I'll ever tell anyone, I promise. Thank you. You can relax now. You won. Mary, it wasn't a game. I know. Here's your article. I'm William Woodard. Let's go. and you didn't tell me. Do you hate me? Now, their future... We're gonna be the family we were meant to be. ...will change forever. So what do we do now? She needs to know the truth. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. If you're waiting for him to catch on... And he tricks you into having a child. She planned the whole thing. This is the week to watch. A web of lies finally unravels. If there are more secrets, I need to know about them right now. Watch All My Children, weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Instantly restore your floors. Just shine it once and it shines for months with Quick Shine from Holloway House. Quick Shine is so quick and easy. Just quick squirt, quick spread, and let it quick dry for a beautiful Quick Shine in just 15 minutes on any floor, vinyl, tile, marble, even wood. So don't just clean it, Quick Shine it. Enter quickshine.net to discover more or visit these fine retailers. Then just shine it once and it shines for months. That one is perfect. Let's keep that one. You probably heard that I joined Jenny Craig to get healthier. And you know what? I'm so glad I did. I've lost 20 pounds and my cholesterol is down over 20 points. It's different than I thought. I'm eating real food that's really good, like rotini and meatballs and mac and cheese. Jenny Craig worked for me. Why not try it for yourself? Call 1-800-JENNY-20 today. It's your final week to get six weeks for $36 plus the cost of food. Pick up the phone. Call Jenny today. Here at the phone company, you've been our customer for a long time. Now Vonage wants to change all that. Well, over two million people have already joined Vonage. Oh, really? <laughs> Don't they miss having phone service? Actually, with Vonage, you get the number one rated digital phone service and unlimited local and long distance calls, all for just $9.95 per month for the first three months. What do you charge? <laughs> it's simple, really. It starts with different basic rates, long-distance fees, and of course... Vonage really... has over 25 features, and they're included for no extra charge. For me, Vonage is everything I want in a phone service. It's dependable. It's perfect. No nickels and dimes uh, like the phone company. Get Vonage for only $9.95 per month for the first three months. Enjoy clear digital phone sound quality using your high-speed internet connection. Okay, but making a change is hard, and for over 100 years, the only thing we've changed is... Your prices? <laughs> Whoa! Call 1-800-570-1614 or go online to startvonage.com. The DirecTV Rewards Visa Card delivers more DirecTV for less. Turn your everyday purchases into discounts on our exclusive sports packages, your favorite premium movie channels, or state-of-the-art HD DVRs. Apply today and you'll get $5 off your monthly DirecTV bill for a full year. There's simply no limit to the DirecTV Rewards Visa Card. Call now and let the savings begin. I think you belong with Delia, Pat. Oh, I have my moments of believing that uh, I'd be better for you. 
And I know the life we could have had together would be better than the one you're living through now. But there's a part of you that really needs to nourish and sustain someone else. And the part of me that you used to nourish and sustain just isn't there anymore. I think largely because you were so nice to me and helpful after I was sick. You got well by yourself. Partly. Anyway, I love you. And I know you love me. But the person I believe you're meant to share your life with is Delia. The only problem is, will she ever grow up enough and be healthy enough to share anything with anyone else? I keep hoping she will be. You had it the other day, you know, when you said that the marriage was a mistake because you couldn't do what you set out to do, which was to save Delia from herself. You can't do it, no, but, but a good psychiatrist could. She has to want that herself. It's you know that as well as I do. It's been known in the past that she wants whatever you want. You could try that approach. Maybe. You know, it really is kind of funny. Sad in a way. How reluctant you are to give it up. What? Whatever the satisfaction is in taking care of her. You were suggesting earlier that the satisfaction was so great that somehow or other I would have managed not to marry you even if Delia hadn't been pregnant. I think I meant that if it hadn't been the pregnancy, she would have come up with something equally compelling and disruptive. Oh, let's not get into this again. My only point is that I hope you'd make a real effort to let go and get her into the hands of a good psychiatrist. You're angry. I don't like the idea that you think I didn't want to marry you. Think that I didn't understand what my options were in terms of Delia. That, that I reflexively do whatever Delia's needs impel me to do. I did love you. I do love you. I did like the kind of life we could have had together. And everything I said to you was in good faith. Okay. Hey, look, and I'm sorry all this biofeedback business set Delia off. Would you rather forget about it? No, I would not. <laughs> I want to go ahead as planned. I want to find out about Dr. Fowler's work, see if it's applicable to Angel. Good. Just let me know if and when I am a problem, okay? No problems. Um, it's good to have someone in your life who has a dedication to telling you the truth, no matter what. <laughs> Hey, uh, I think you should take a look at the supplementary journal report on the uh, unconscious condition of the autonomical nervous system. Where did I put that? Next, it's the young and the restless. In Genoa City, powerful people will stop at nothing to get what they want. Why and R is next on SoapNet. There is a time when everyone comes home. Oh, a family bond that can't be broken. This week, Emmy Award winner Jeannie Francis is back. I'm here. Laura Spencer comes home. Watch General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Truth. Willpower. So leave. Everybody's got their something, and I've got one life to live. 
Where would you go next if you had a hover around power chair? The Statue of Liberty? The Grand Canyon? It's all possible with a hover around. Hi, I'm Tom Cruise, inventor and founder of Hover Around. When we say you're free to see the world, we mean it. Call today and get a free Hover Around information kit that includes a video and full color brochure. It's by far the best chair I've ever owned. And if you qualify, get it for little or no money. No cost, absolutely no cost to me. Breaking news. When you call today, we'll include a free Hover Around collapsible grabber with the purchase of your power chair. It reaches, it grabs, it's collapsible, and it's portable. It goes wherever you go. Get it free while supplies last. Declare your independence. Call now. You'll be glad you did. Call 1-800-365-3507 to get your free video, brochure, and your free Hover Around collapsible grabber. 1-800-365-3507. That's 1-800-365-3507. Essentially, the surgery means going in there and mending the fracture the same way that nature would. But faster. Much. So the open passageway would be closed, there would be no more leakage of spinal fluid, and infection would not be a problem anymore. On the contrary. You see, the operation itself carries a, a great danger of infection. A far greater danger than we would face if we allowed the fracture to mend slowly. The overriding consideration here is this heart trouble. Surgery is very bad business for someone with his history of cardiac trouble. I was told his EKG was good. Now, was that a lie? No. His heart is stable for the moment. After the surgery, would he still be uh, disoriented? No, that would um, clear up rather quickly. Well, I'm going to have to think. If you'll excuse me. Please, um, before you go, I would appreciate your recommendation and yours. Very simply, I want to be clear about all of your points of view. I would wait and let the fracture heal by itself. I agree. I'm, uh, I'm the junior man here. I asked for your opinion. All right. My specialty is neurological surgery. Therefore, I tend to see some possibilities that the other doctors might not see. In your husband's case, I think that surgery might be well worth the risk. However, I don't want to talk you out of this safer approach. I see. Well, thank you for your honesty. Oh, one more question. If surgery were in order, who would be the best man to do it? Dr. Kovic. Not an older man? No. Now, at the risk of seeming rude, I do have other patients, if you'll excuse me. I'll be available if you want to discuss anything more. But in the meantime, please, let your husband rest. Don't pay him any visits. Those ribs are painful, aren't they? I really don't even know where it's coming from anymore. All I know is it just hurts. Look, as long as Frank Ryan arranged for you to have a room next to your husband's, why don't you use it? Go to bed, get some sleep. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Believe it or not, I don't want to risk his life. I know. I'm sure the business and political pressures for him to heal quickly are tremendous. Yes, much more than I can tell you. Well, I will be getting a few hours sleep. By that time, my secretary should be here from Albany. There is one very crucial matter we have to take care of with Bill, and then I'll make my decision. Those other doctors, um, how conservative are they? Is the surgery really dangerous? Yes, I'd say they were a gamble at best. And you're a gambler? I'm a strategist. We'll see. Antonio Sabato Jr. is back as Jagger Cates, and the only place to see him is on the new season of Night Shift. General Hospital Night Shift, Tuesdays at 11 p.m. on SoapNet.